hi everyone welcome once more to this youtube channel so as you watch this video on solution to nickel chemistry of JT part kindly like the video and share the video to fellow students so we're looking at the, the solution of JT we're already giving the video for the theory so you can go through our channel and look for the theory part so we gave five questions on the theory so this objective we are giving solutions not only solution but explanation why the answers are so number one says in the conductance of aqueous potassium 36 solution the current carriers are a electrons b hydride ions c neutrons d potassium uh, positive ions and e protons the right answer to number one is b because in in the solution of copper soft, uh, potassium sulfate, potassium ionizes into potassium and SO4 ion, and water is there, ionizing into hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. So the answer to number one is B. Number two says the energy required to remove one electron from the outermost shell of potassium atom is referred to as A, artificial energy B, Initial energy C, kinetic energy D, mechanical energy, and E, potential energy. The answer is B, ionization energy. Number three, the remnant of electrons into the energy levels of atomic nucleus is A, allotropy B, electronic af electron affinity C, electronic configuration D, isotopy and E valency. The answer, of course, is C electronic configuration number four carbon is often deposited in the exhaust pipe of card because of the a contamination of petrol with diesel b dehydration of petrol c incomplete combustion of petrol and d presence of additives in the petrol and e presence of carbon in the petrol the answer is c incomplete combustion of petrol so that is number four. Number five, with the flowing ions does not have the same electronic configuration as argon eighteen. So does not is it does not have the same electronic configuration as, as argon that is eighteen. So the answer is a aluminium, not b. Aluminium A because in aluminium, 3 ion, 13 minus, I don't know about aluminium is 13, 13 minus 3 is 10. So aluminium has an electron, not 18, but calcium has 20 minus 2, 18. Chlorine has 17 plus 1, 18. Potassium has 19 minus 1, 18. Sulfur has 16 plus 2, 18. Negative ion shows electron gain. What positive shows electron loss? So the answer to the question is option A, 13 minus 3. 10 not up to 18 so it's a aluminium number six with the flowing conditions will marble react most rapidly with hydrochloric acid a marble chips and conch acid at a degree celsius b marble chips and dilute acid at a degree celsius c marble chips and dilute acid at 50 degrees celsius d Marble powder and conch acid at 50 degrees Celsius and E. Marble powder and dilute acid at 30 degrees Celsius. The answer is option C. Marble powder has a larger surface area and react faster. Then concentration will also of acid will also increase the rate of reaction, likewise increase in temperature. So the answer is D. Number seven, seven. The chemical formula of FES2 represents a. Hamitite, B. Limonite, C. Magnetite, D. Pyrite, and E. Sidrite. The answer is D. Ion Pyrite. Number 38. The following is the secondary arcanor. So we have the structures there. So we have A, B, C, and D. So let's go to E. So the answer is E. E is the secondary arcanor. So that is it. Number nine. What the value of S and Y in the equation? C S 
HY plus 5 oxygen molecule, you know, stress CO2 plus 4 water. So in this equation, the answer is C, 3 and 8, because on the right hand side, you have 3 carbon atoms on CO2 or 3 moles of carbon, and then 4 times 2, which is 8 for hydrogen on water. So if we see 3 H8, option C is correct. So we we'll go to 10. A mixture of sodium chloride, ammonium chloride, and barium sulfate can be separated by a addition of water followed by filtration, then sublimation. B addition of water followed by sublimation, uh, then filtration. C fractional crystallization. D fractional distillation. E submission followed by addition of water then filtration so the correct answer to the equation is option e so why is the answer e you go to the, to the equation sodium chloride and ammonium chloride are both soluble in water so if you add water first both of them dissolve so you don't have to add water first all you have to do is to sublime ammonium chloride by heating when ammonium chloride goes off you can then add water and then filter so option E is correct. Submission followed by additional water and then filtration because burning sulfate is in soluble water. 11 says, what is the number of moles in 200 grams of iron? Iron is Fe56. So the answer to this question is option D. So how do you get the D? Number of moles is mass over atomic mass. We use atomic mass in this case because iron is monatomic, so we don't have to use molar mass. So the mass of iron is 200 divided by 56, that gives us about 3 point, approximately 3.60 mole. So option D is right. Number 12, the notation delta HF to the power 0 represents A, entropy change of formation, B, entropy of formation, C, Heat change of formation, D, standard enthalpy of formation, and E, gives free energy. The answer is D. Because that delta H is enthalpy or heat of reaction. That F represents formation. Why the zero means standard state? So the answer to number 12 is D. Number 13, the atoms, first rows, mass number 31, term number 15, and so forth. Mass number 32, atom number 16, have the, the same number of A electrons, B neutrons, C neutrons and electrons, D neutrons and protons, and E protons. The answer is B. Number of neutrons is mass number minus three number. So for first trust, that 1 minus 15 is 16 neutrons. For so for 32 minus 16, C gives the same 16 neutrons. So the answer is B. They have the same number of neutrons. Number 14. The following is an example of electrolyte A, benzene B, 18, C, tomato acid, D, molten sulfur, and E, sugar solution. The answer is atomic acid. Acids are electrolytes. So that is C. Number 15. Equilibrium state is attained in a chemical reaction when concentration of reactants. A and products are equal, B and products varies, C double the concentration of the products, D is greater than the concentration of the products, and E is less than the concentration of the products. The answer is A. So, equilibrium is achieved when the concentration of the reactants equals that of the product. So the answer is 15 is A. So going to number 16. See, number 16 says, the gaseous product formed when water is added to calcium carbide is A, benzene, B, ethane, C, 18, D, ethyne, and E, toluene. The answer is ethyne. Option D is the answer for number 16. Number 17, in a soapy detergent, the ionic hydrophilic chain is A, CO3, sodium ion, B, 
COO, sodium ion, C, sodium ion, then hydroxyl, D, ammonium ion and chloride, and E, triosulfate ion, and then sodium. The answer is E, SO3, and sodium. E, the hydrophilic part of a detergent, is E. 18. The following are uses of nitrogen, except A, it serves as refrigerant, B, for making fertilizers, C, for the manufacturing of ammonia, D, to produce an inert atmosphere for welding, and E, to remove stains on wood. So all these options are the use of nitrogen except E. So the answer is E. That you never use to remove stains from wood. So the answer is option E for number 18. Number 19, the technique that can be used to show the chlorophyll pigment is a mixture of chemical compounds and not a single compound is A, chromatography B, crystallization C, distillation, the filtration and E sublimation. The answer is chromatography being a color pigment. That's how it's A. 19 is A. 20. What is the number of atoms in 0.4 mole of sodium? And you're going to have a good rose constant. The answer to the question is D. 2.4 times 10 to the power 23. D. Look at the solution. NS means number of atoms given by the number of moles times Avogadro's constant, which is NA. And the number of moles is 0 0.4 given to you times the Avogadro's constant. Making your substitution, you now have 2.4 to the power 23. So that's why the answer is option D, without wasting time. Let's go to 21. Let's go to number 20. This is 20. We'll move to 21. 21. An element is said to be Electronegative, if it had the tendency to A, attract valence electrons towards itself in a compound. B, is this in gaseous form? C, is this in solid state? And D, lose electrons. E, repair valence electrons in chemical bond. The answer to the question is A travalence electrons so that is the answer to number 21 22 calculate the mass in grams of silver deposited when the current of 1.3 amperes is passed through a solution of silver salt for 35 minutes Faraday constants is 96500 then silver the mass is 108 the answer is option c 3.06 grams Look at the solution. We use the simplified formula for Faraday first law. Mass over AM, the atomic mass, equal to Q. Q is quantity. All over C times F. That C is the charge of valency of silver, which is 1. We now make math the subject. We now have M equal to Q times AM all over C times F. And we know that our Q is IT. That is current times time. We now move to the other section. M equal to substituting Q with IT. IT times AM all over C times F. Our current is 1.3. Time is 35. Convert that time from minutes to second. Multiply by 60. Then by times the atomic mass of silver, 1 over 108 all over. The valency of silver is 1. That is the C. Then times the Faraday constant solving, we have 3.06 gram as our answer. Number 23. A physical property that decreases across the period in the periodic table is A, atomic radius, B, electron affinity, C, electron ne ne negativity, D, ionization energy, and then E, nuclear charge. The answer is atomic radius. It decreases across the period due to increase negative in nuclear charge. So, 23 is A. 24. The color of observed when a few drops of Sudan 3 is added to oil is a, blue, B, green, C, indigo, D, red, and E, white. The answer is red. 25. Sodium chloride has a net charge of A minus 2, B minus 1, C, 0, D, 1, E, 3. The answer is 0. The net charge is centered at the sum of the oxygen number of sodium and the chloride ion, so it's 0. 
So, 26, the reaction water is A or and look at that reaction between water and coke, giving us hydrogen and carbon two oxide. A, acid, B, base, C, electron donor, D, oxygen agent, and E, resin agent. The answer is water is an oxygen agent because look at it. Water are giving oxygen to carbon or to coke, oxidizing carbon to carbon two oxide. Why it is reduced to hydrogen. So the answer is the option for 26 is D. 27. The following are processes involved in the domestic treatment of water, except, except A. Chlorination, B. Filtration, C. Flocculation, D. Neutralization, and E. Sedimentation. So, domestic treatment of water will not involve neutralization. So, 27 is D. 28. How many atoms are there in 7 grams of nitrogen? Uh, you are giving the 1 mole with the Avogadro's constant there and the nitrogen is 14. So, the answer to this question is option B. 3 times power 23. But in actual sense, that 28 has no answer. The answer is not there. But we have to choose the nearest answer. So, let's check why the answer is not there. Nitrogen is a molecule. So, we don't have to use 14. Being a molecule, the molecular mass is 14 times, so that is 28. The number of moles of nitrogen will be mass over molar mass, that is 7 over 28, and that gives us 0 0.25 mole. The number of atoms will now be mole times Avogadro's constant, which is 0 0.25 times 6 to the power 23, which should be 1.5 to the power 23, which is not in the option. 1 is very really, is approximately should be two so one is not the a is not the answer so but we'll use so using for, uh, um, seven over 28 if we use seven over 14 in place of the molar mass of nitrogen we'll arrive at option b so since there's no answer there we'll go to the nearest answer which is b should that be an error from them so go to b 29 the cell is a chemical cell because chemical energy is converted to a electrical energy B, light energy C, mechanical energy, the potential energy, and E, sound energy. The answer is A, electrical energy for number 29A. Number 30. A Sandvik law is established only after the right answer there is B, after experiments have been carried out and proving true so a law only comes after experiments so the answer is b so 31 the following properties of group six elements the following are properties of group six elements except that they are a atomic radius increases than the group b negativity decreases than the group C, melting and boiling point increases than the group. D, metallic properties decreases than the group. So the answer is D. So the elements are not even metal. They are not metals. So that is an exemption. So D is the answer for that one. 32 says, what volume in DN cube of water will be added to one DN cube? Of six mole per DNQ solution to make it two mole per DNQ. The answer is 2.0. So, how do we come about the 2.0? Use the dilution principle C1V1 equal to C2V2. Make V to the subject, V to the final volume of solution, so C1V1 over C2, and then substitute the values given to you there. One, the initial concentration is one. Initial concentration is six, sorry. Um is six mole per cube and the initial volume is one. So six times one all over the final concentration is two. Final concentration is two. When you solve, you have three. So this is the final volume. So the volume of water added is now the difference between the final initial that is V2 minus V1, three minus one, which is gonna give you two. So the answer is C option. Option C 2.0. Now that is three. In the pretty table, elements in the same period show a progressive decrease in electronic electronic activity b progressive increase in atomic number 
see similarity in chemical properties. D similarity is in electronic structure. D E similarity is in physical property. The answer is D similarities in electronic structure because MS in the same period had the same number of shells. So that is it. So number 34. If the rate of diffusion of oxygen is 7.5 cm cube per second and the time taken to diffuse is 2 seconds, calculate the volume in cm cube A, A, T, B, 89C, 90D, 91E, 99. The answer is C, 90. Rate is volume over time. So make volume the subject. Volume becomes rate times time. Substitute 7.5 times 2. That gives you 90. Option C. 35. What similarity exists between a chlorine atom and a chlorine ion? A. Chemical property. B. Electric charge. C. Electronic configuration. D. Number of electrons. E. Number of protons. So both the atom and the ion will have the same number of protons because ion is formed when the chlorine gains electrons. So every other thing will change. But the protons which reside in the nucleus remains constant. So the answer is E. So 36. You have two. 28.4 grams of a salt dissolved in 2 250 cm cube of this water to give a concentration of 0 0.8 mole per dm cube. Calculate the molar mass of the salt. The answer is 142.0. Option C for number 36. So look at the solution. You have everything itemized there. And then apply the formula. Mass over molar mass. You want to see if you have 1,000. You make molar mass the subject. So you now have that. And then substitute the values given to you. 28.4 times as mass times 1,000 all over. Concentration is 0 0.8 times volume 250. Solving out, we have 142 other molar mass. 37. Separation of crude oil into its fraction is based on differences in the right answer with boiling point. Every other thing is wrong. Because you separate them by a crude oil component by fractional distillation and it depends on boiling point. So go to 37 is A, 38. The flowing gases is neutral to litmus paper. A, ammonia, B, carbon fours, I, C, hydrogen, D, hydrogen chloride, and E, so forth. The answer is hydrogen is a neutral gas. Option C, 38 is option C. 39. A balanced chemical equations provides. The following information except the, the answer to this question is rate of reaction. The balance equation doesn't provide information about the rate of reaction. It provides information about the direction of the reaction, reactants and products, state of matter, stoichiometry of reaction, but does not provide information about the rate of reaction. So the answer is B. Going to 40. The following is a property of sulfur. It A bonds with a blue flame, that dancer. Other options are incorrect. B, conductory steel, no, so it's not a metal. C, exist in liquid state, no, so is solid. D, forms alkaline oxide, no, it forms acidic oxide. E, produces brown fumes with nitrogen oxide, no, the answer is A, it bonds with a blue flame. 41, so that contain water crystallization are called A and hydride B, concentrate B, C, hydrous D, oxides and E, sulfate. The answer is, is option C for number 41, hydrous or can call the hydrated source, option C. Number 42, the following properties, the following properties of halogens increase than the group except is A, atomic radius, B, boiling point, C, chemical reactivity, D, color change, and E, Melting point. The answer is C. Then the group, the chemical reactivity decreases, not increases. So, except chemical reactivity. So, 42, the answer is C. 43. The color of phenolphthalein indicator in acidic medium is A, blue, B, colorless, C, orange, D, pink, E, red. Phenolphthalein is colorless in acid. Answer is B for 43. 44. At 5 degrees Celsius, a given mass of gas occupied a volume of 150 cm cube. What is the volume in cm cube of the gas at standard temperature if its pressure 
is constant. The answer is option D, 137.4. Option D, we've got the solution. The first temperature 25, convert to Kelvin, you have 298. Third volume is 150. Second temperature is standard, and third temperature is 273 Kelvin. We're going for V2. The pressures are equal, so that means charge law. You apply V1 over T1, go to V2 over T2. You now make V2 the subject. V2 now becomes V1 T2 over T1. Then substitute the values. You now have 150 times 273 over 298. That gives you 137.4. Option D for number 44. 45 says the following is the least reactive metal A, lead, B, potassium, C, silver, D, sodium, and E, tin. The answer is silver. Option C, 445, being the lowest in the activity series among the metals listed here. Go to number 46. The addition number of hydrogen changes from in the reaction, we have that reaction. Hydrogen molecule is 0 and in water is plus 1. So the answer should be from 0 to plus 1. So the correct answer is option A, 0 to plus 1. Number 47. Graphite is soft and slippery because of is a conductivity of electron electricity B density C hardness D solubility in any solvent and D E layer structure. The answer is E layer structure called the Van der Waal forces in the layers. So is E. So number forty eight carbon fiber is used in fire extinguisher because it a displaces nitrogen B Displays oxygen C is insoluble in water. D ready solidifies and E turns blue. This will part to red. The answer is B. It displaces oxygen. It denser than air. So that answer answer for two forty eight is B. Forty nine. With the following mixtures can be separated by filtration. The answer is B. Silver chloride and sodium chloride. Silver chloride and sodium chloride. That is B. Because silver chloride is an insoluble salt and sodium chloride is soluble. So if you add water, you can separate them by filtration. So it is B for 49. Number 50. The major raw material in the plastic industry is the correct option there is D18. It is in plastic industries, pod 18. So that is D. Number 51. The law that mathematically Express P1 V1 what P2 V2 is uh, A Avogadro B Boyce C Charles D Dalton and E Graham. That law is Boyce law. So 51 is option B B boy. Now my 52. The energy release or absorb when water is added to a substance is the energy is called hydration energy. 52 is B option B hydration energy. The technique used in separating crude oil into fractions is the answer to number 53 is D, fractional distillation. Fractional distillation is the correct answer to 53. 54. The percentage by mass of oxygen in carbon dioxide is the answer is option D, 73%. See the working. Find the molar mass of carbon dioxide and calculate it. You're going to have 44. Then find the mass of oxygen in the compound. There are two atoms of oxygen in CO2, so that becomes 16 times 232. So, as in becomes a 2 over 4 times 100, that gives you approximately 73%. Go to number 55. Alkanos react with alkanoic acid in the presence of a mineral acid to form A, Akens, B, Amine, C, Esters, D, Ethers, and E, Sugars. The answer is C, Esters for number. 55 esters number 56 the product form when excess carbon dioxide is bubbled into calcium hydroxide solution is a calcium hydrogen carbonate b calcium hydroxide c calcium carbonate d calcium oxide and e calcium sulfate the answer is a calcium hydrogen carbonate so we bubble co2 into calcium, calcium hydroxide is lime water calcium hydroxide is lime water when we bubble co2 into calcium you get calcium carbonate but when you bubble excess CO2 into the lime water, you don't get, get the carbon, you get calcium hydrogen carbonate option A. 57. 
Calculate mass of hydrogen form when 3.2 grams of magnesium reacts with dilute H2SO4. Have an equation given to you. The answer to the equation is option C, 0 0.27 gram. So let's see the working. We've got the balance equation there for you. So for the balance equation, one more magnesium produce one more of hydrogen. Convert the most to masses. So one more magnesium is 24 grams. And for hydrogen being the atomic, it's going to be two times one. So 24 grams of magnesium gives you 22 grams of hydrogen. Therefore, 3.2 grams of mg given the equation will now give you 3.2 times 2 over 24 and that gives you 0 0.27 grams. So that is correct. Going to number 58. The flowing metals form more than one type of ion A, calcium B, ion C, magnesium D, potassium, and E, sodium. The answer is B, ion, because it's a transition metal. 59. The difference between heavy and heavy chemicals and fine chemicals is in there. The answer to the question is in the degree of purity. So heavy chemicals are produced in large amount but lesser purity. Why chem fine chemicals are produced in, in small amount but high purity? Number 60. The reverse reaction of the equation is you look at that equation. That equation is a sulfation reaction. That seed and that cannot give you ester and water. Reverse means going backward. Going backward is no longer a sulfation. It's now called hydrolysis because the ester is reacting with water to give you back the acid and the alkanol. So the uh, number 60 is C, option C, hydrolysis. So we have come to the end of the solution. Thank you for staying connected to the channel. Thank you. Share and like our videos. Thank you.